All right, this morning I am installing this Toto wall hung toilet in this water closet. There's an outlet there and water pipe for the bidet seat, which is there. The instructions are very dismal. So I'm putting this video together to show you. And you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a couple wrenches, pliers, a straight edge. I'm just gonna use this, it works. A saw with a uh, fine metal blade to cut the inlet and outlet pipes. And you need a brain. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the water supply. I uh, already made sure that the water is off. We may have some residual water there, so I have a towel. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna add an appropriate size nipple with the shutoff valve and isolate that. So stay tuned. All right, cap is off. Had a little bit of residual water there catching into the bucket. And then I'm gonna take this nipple out. And there's no more water left. I'm gonna prepare this one first, get that in the hole. All right, <clears throat> now this end is going to go in there. So we need to lube up this and that with plumber's grease. All right, now I'm gonna take my straight edge again and line that up in the back of the toilet like that and mark that. All right, now if you can look closely enough, you'll see that my distance between the two lines is one and three quarters. That is the amount that we need to take off the end right there. So we're gonna take off one and three quarters of this pipe and then deburr the ends. All right, the next measurement <clears throat> is the threaded rod from the finished wall, one and nine sixteenths inches before you put on all right, an easier way <clears throat> is to make sure that the end of that center lip is a roughly around two and three quarters. That piece right there, two and three quarters off the finished wall. Like that. All right, toilet is installed. If you notice, the back wall is not tile. And something I like to point out, even if you tile or not, it would be a good idea, I mean, we'll see how I learned, it would be a good idea to shim out between the sheetrock and the steel blue frame of the wall carrier. If you don't do that, and I was even contemplating when I heard these horrible creaking sounds every time I sat down on the bowl that I just hung. And I'm like, yeah, there's, there's no plywood there, there's no tile. But even if I tiled, I still think we need to shim it out a little bit. So I opened up the back wall. Not a big deal. The house is still under construction. You know, yeah, this is partially painted. This is that, that Kohler digital shower system, but... Not a big deal. I cut a nice clean hole there and uh, I shimmed that out. And uh, now when you sit on it, you don't really hear anything anymore. So mission accomplished. All right. I know this wasn't a great how to video but hope you had fun watching plumber mike saint mike signing off happy sunday